And then as uh, Ostrich is on his way back through the entrance, here comes Danielson and they pass. So now they're watching Raw too. And they pass in the entranceway and they're wrestling on the pay-per-view in what, less than three weeks. And instead of having some kind of tension or issue, they smile at each other and Ostrich says, top that. And the reason they're wrestling on the pay-per-view is they're going to have a classic match, apparently without doing any kind of angle to actually get people interested in seeing them fight with each other. So we got that going for us. Should I continue moving on to Mr. Danielson? Yes. Because Brian Danielson wrestled the formerly MIA Lance Archer. And thankfully, I wrote at the top, Lance came out with no Jake the Snake to get in the way and stand there and look larger and older than everyone else and do nothing. And Jake just announced he re-signed. Oh, yeah, he re-signed a contract, but he, that doesn't mean he has to come to work now. And then he, Archer didn't come out of the entrance way beating up a production assistant or some job guy because that's as we mentioned before so fucking phony and stupid so he didn't do that so i thought maybe we'll have a good match here and they jump start archer jump starts before the bell and kicks the shit out of danielson for about two or three minutes straight and then danielson starts fighting back and they go to the floor and then the break spot is Danielson's down on the floor and Archer grabs some crew member standing there by the fucking railing and picks him up and body slams him on Brian Danielson. And that was the break spot. And at that point, I said, all right, I'm just going to, again, skip to the finish because what the... F Lance Archer is, is a good talent. I'm not thinking he's the next rock or stone cold, but he could have been used well as a heel, especially in this land of Lilliput with these midgets and goddamn embryos on the card. No Jake Roberts to get in the way and detract attention from him. No goofy shit with the crew members. A sustained and focused push. And you could have had something, but you could say that about a lot of guys on this roster and it's too late now for Lance Archer like it is for most of the rest of the other ones. And this wasn't a bad offensive match. There was no furniture. There was no flips. Everybody worked hard. The fans liked it. Uh, but finally, Danielson, <laughs> Lance Archer's on his knees in the middle of the ring and Danielson three kicks to the head and a running knee while Archer's on his knees and pins him one, two, three. It's a rotten finish is flat. It's no way for Archer to take a bump, all those things. But in this case, it's Danielson's gimmick, and Danielson has been over in the past. So the people there liked it, and it wasn't as stupid as it would have been if some just jack-off did it. But Danielson didn't top it, except for they didn't botch the last three consecutive moves. Danielson did not top Ostrich versus Hobbs with him versus Archer. Did you think he did? I didn't. I haven't been a big fan of Danielson's matches in quite a while. I thought the first match was much better. Well, in that case, 